Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 679 of Fallout 4. Last episode made it into Vault 88, and there's somebody in here who seems to think I'm specifically here to, uh, to rescue them. This is now a settlement? Which is kind of weird to me, and wow, look at the power value. There must be a fusion generator somewhere, somewhere, somewhere located in the, the depths of the vault. But uh, yeah, Codsworth is still kind of a hermit crab. I'm not sure <laughs> what's, what's going on with that one. But uh, I did fix place anywhere, as you will probably yeah, be able to see. Like, I, I can just... I can grab anything that I want and just put it wherever I want, so that's amazing. I had to reinstall the script extender, which is weird because it used to auto-update whenever you try to run it, but uh, I fixed that, then I had to manually update the Scrap Anywhere, or Scrap Anywhere, Place Anywhere mod, obviously. Very common steps to fix any problem, but uh, finally got around to doing that, but well, I wasn't particularly doing any settlement building, so I wasn't overly worried about it, but yeah, there you go. That's how you fix it. It was easy peasy. Codsworth the Hermit Crab, I need you to get out of the way. I need to clear some debris. That is that is what I was told to do. So I have to come over here. Like, I put the thingy. I, 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 I did the thingy here, but I gotta, I gotta, like, pick up this, or just scrap it, I'm assuming, which is kind of funny, because... Normal debris you can't do this to, but I guess this is part of the quest. I'm, I'm assuming this is the this is the debris. Okay, just I I, don't know, I must have scrapped some other debris than the one I was looking at because this didn't disappear. <laughs> There's also a mining helmet here. Sure, this is weird to me. A vault is a settlement. Well, they have they have a they look like a ghoul, but they have a uh, they have a suit on. Mining helmet, blowtorch, sure. I mean, I might as well scrap all this stuff. I don't see anybody else here. Just this person. Okay. All right. Well, that's not scrapping. Yeah, you look like a ghoul to me. Oh. Oh, there's a feral. Whoa. Okay. Julian. Makes sense because ferals don't attack, you know, other... Oh. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pit boy. You're from a vault. But you're clearly not with vault -Tec. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? Man, she looks like a straight alien. Like, I mean, we've seen ghouls before, but I don't know. Like, something about, like, how tiny she is and exceptionally green. Mainly, I was <laughs> curious who you were, what you're doing here. Oh. Well, I'm happy to satisfy that. But first, my name is Valerie Barstow, and I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please, follow me. I have a proposal for you. What I'm a momentous day. not interested in marriage. It's been a hard 200 years. I was given a tour of what was to be my pride and joy. My vault. Then, the earthquakes. Sirens. Many died. Perhaps they were lucky. The radiation. Somehow, I was spared. Julian, what is I was waiting. Stop, Julian. What are you doing? I'm pretty sure Julian. I... What are you doing? Julian! I'm sorry. The construction crew didn't fare as well as me. They've never done anything hostile towards me, though. It's probably best if you put them out of their misery. Kill the feral ghoul. So yeah, that's this is the overseer. Interesting. So these are the construction people that we were reading well, about. Hello there. Well, hello there indeed. Let's see how many are there. I see something glowing over there. Oh, it'll be easy peasy to finish. Don't you worry about that. Where are they? Let's see here. Charred feral ghoul. Nice level, bro. Level 15, level 120. There's a couple level 129s in here. Shouldn't be too difficult to uh, just deal with from here. Like it's They'll have no bad. idea. Out of their misery at last. The damage drop off is real. Remember, we're using a, <laughs> we're using the kneecapper here, and uh, the damage drop off is real. Looks like there's still some more. So this is all mine. For, ooh, packs of duct tape. That's some piece of right there. This is all mine for the taking. Like they, they don't. It's better. You. She keeps repeating herself. I was listening to her the first time, but she keeps saying the same thing over and over again. 
But it's interesting. This is all mine for the taking. We got pit boys and things last time, like... I, I don't know. What the hell am I doing with all these pit boys in my inventory? What? Can I just, like, start giving people pit boys? This, this, this has to have something to do with the quest. What level is he? Damn. At level 129, though. I mean... She keeps listening to her. She keeps repeating herself. I guess it doesn't really matter what I kill him with. He'll go down either way. Codsworth, uh, let me get the first shot off on him, please. Let me, let me get that sneak attack before you do anything silly. Yeah. All that mad damage. Is that the last of them? Okay, so he's not a named ghoul. At least that's over. Let's continue. She said, at least that's over. I have a feeling she's not going to offer me anything that's, uh... Uh, not shady. I'm pr pretty sure whatever she's gonna say is... is probably not good. Eh, I mean, I, I don't know, it's kind of the way she speaks, kind of the way she talks to me, and... she was excited thinking vault -Tec came here, but I, I... I don't know, maybe she didn't know that they were evil, but I'm really doubting that, because it's the Overseer. The Overseer pretty much always knows. So yeah, this is a bit fishy. Just a little bit fishy. I mean, I guess at least she had supplies in here, but then again, she's a ghoul. They don't need to eat and drink. We, we learned this from uh, that one dude. Wait, what was that? Oh, I thought it was a tool thingy. We, le we learned this from the one dude uh, trying to buy that kid. He's like, man, they don't need to eat. They don't need to drink. They never need to sleep. Uh, they're just they're just ripe for the pumping. Because, cause, you know, that guy was totally not a not a weirdo or anything like that. That guy, that guy, that guy was a little bit off. <laughs> I forget his name. He's dead. <laughs> He stalked me. He stalked the kid in the fridge. I still question his timing. I don't know. He just mysteriously appeared. It's as if he couldn't open the fridge to get the kid out. But uh, yeah, that guy's weird. But I actually wouldn't have to worry about food. Uh, wor worry about food. Worry about food. Food. Or my good food. But uh, yeah, only Julian appeared to be named. Kind of funny, huh? She's like Julian. No, Julian, stop. <laughs> Julian, these are friends. At least for now. Um, Julian, cal calm down. Well, ma'am, you probably don't know how ghouls work. I mean, granted, you've been one for 200 years, but you probably don't know all the ins and outs that the Commonwealth knows. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think with 200 years and never having to eat, never having to drink, like never having to sleep, like never having to worry about that, I think I might have been able to make a dent in the debris that was there. It looked mostly dirt. There, 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 were, there were some steel beams and things like that, but economy wonder glue. Nothing that I don't think 200 years of manpower could have, uh, could, have, you know, could have accomplished. I mean, Jesus Christ, the Egyptians built the pyramids, unless we're talking aliens here, but, I mean, eh, man, she might have been able to do something. Can I not get in this train car? Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Got up top here. Nothing. These are just boxes. And a lunch pail. Well, that appears to be just about everything that I think I can get here, at least in the train area. But up here, nothing. Don't worry, ma'am. I'll talk to you in a little bit. I'm just, uh, I'm perusing your wares before you probably get pretty angry with me. I mean, look, there's the, you got like an excavator or something. Hold on, like, what is this thing? I don't know. It's... I tried digging my way to the entrance. With that control board, I could have changed everything. You didn't try hard but enough. But there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work kept me going. You, okay, you, you didn't try hard enough. I mean, you got you got a forklift here. I'm pretty sure you could have stabby stab stabbed the debris enough to loosen it. <laughs> if I can walk in here and just scrap it by pressing R, I think she could have weaseled her way out. Anyway, there's, there's there's still plenty of loot to be had before I talk to her, but apparently that was me completing following her. Uh, I guess I just had to go back and visit her after killing the ghouls. Did I just see a charred ghoul pile in the distance, or am I crazy? I don't know why, but from the distance I thought that was like a charred ghoul pile. Right, I think we, I think we pretty much got everything here. I don't think there's anything in any of these tunnels. I'm pretty sure I just, just double check at this point, yeah. Let's go speak with her. There's probably still some stuff in this back corner. Eh, alright, 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 the looter in me. The looter in me needs to check this before he talks to her, before she does any funny business. North Sector. Looks like a wall to me, bro. Yeah, you can tell he definitely did not finish this vault. Like, this this was construction going down, then, then things blew Here, up. Among these papers is my life's work. 
Okay. I'd like to share it with you. Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related, well, experiments that could redefine society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. What are these experiments? Ingenious devices that will improve the efficiency and health of a community. They are admittedly prototypes and may have a design flaw or two, but nothing that can't be fixed with some elbow grease. She doesn't know too much about elbow grease because she couldn't get her way out of here. <laughs> I, like, I like how that option's still there. vault or bastards. We're going to at least inquire first. You mentioned Dr. Braun. Who is he? Dr. Braun is the head of the Societal Preservation Plan. A brilliant scientist and administrator. And... No doubt, dead. A tremendous loss. Go on, then. This vault was meant to be spacious, full of trained staff, trusted subordinates and scientists. Despite how things have played out, I see opportunity. Let us work together, as partners. Ask for money. <laughs> Come in here to somebody who's been trapped for 200 years. You got any caps? You got any uh, pre-war caps? <laughs> I'll never work for vault -Tec. I mean, I guess I have to at least inquire. What's my role? I recognize that you are in a superior bargaining position. I'll handle the mundane nuts and bolts of vault management. Anything you want, I'm happy to accommodate. All I ask is you run the prototype experiments. This sounds bad, but I talked to her, or I saved beforehand. I guess I can save now real quick to save me some dialogue down the line. But uh, I, I don't know if I need to work with her to keep the vault, or I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to experiment with both, or, like both paths. First, we're, first we're going to say, let's do this. Let's do this then. Good, excellent. We cannot begin. Until I have my overseer's desk to run the experiments, the information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. Okay. Build the Vault 88 overseer's desk. Is there an actual location or does it just... I guess I'm just... Busy. Wait, hold on. Uh, I thought I saw something over here. Yeah, build the desk so I actually have to go to where it was supposed to be. Weird how my markers are working. What is it? Is it over here? Or is it still telling me to interact with this thingy? Because it looks like it's still telling me to interact with this thingy. Uh. Alright, well, I'm, I'm going to go to the crafting interface, see if it's under special. Yep, there you go. No Voltec Overseer can work effectively without one. Produces happiness. Wood, steel, rubber, copper, circuitry, and aluminum. I'm guessing they don't really care where, so much as I just have to place the thing. Well, I mean, you seem to like this spot. Finally, my Overseer's desk. And the proper Voltec terminal. I'd love to know I how I know how to make it. it. My Overseer's desk. After all this time. She's just scrawny. Like, damn, dude. Hi. I must make sure the desk terminal has everything I need. Mm, give me a chance to consult the desk terminal. Okay, are you going to sit down in it? Or are you just going to sit there and talk about con consulting? She's like dancing. She's she's getting there. Uh, that... That you're almost. Ooh. Ooh. Good job. You did it. I'm proud. Beep boop 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 beep boop. <laughs> now can I talk to you? This. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long. But we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. 
<laughs> Won't hurt anybody. Find a guinea pig. So what makes perfect test subjects? Healthy. Well, healthy enough. And people we can get an accurate baseline on quickly. And they need a willingness to take on a certain element of risk. I'm not gonna toy with people's lives. Think of the greater good here. But fine. You're running the experiments. If you choose a risk-free path, it will compromise the value of the research. But that's on your head. Choose wisely. Now, I see you've already turned on the vault's radio beacon. Good. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. Jeez, apparently there's a lot to do here. Anything else to say? Excuse me. Feel free to explore. I'll keep an eye out for candidates. Feel free to explore. Can I use your terminal? I'll keep an eye out for Get candidates. Get out of my way. my terminal now. I, I still want to know how I just knew how to make this thing. Can't do that while in power armor. All right, well, that's easy enough. Yeah, I can't help but feel like I'm going down the path of evil here. But I'm wondering what the research is that's being... Intelligence boost added. All right. I I'm wondering what the the research is and what like uh, the benefit is. And I don't know. She's like, if if you if you if you try to be safe about it, you're not gonna get anything good out of it. You know, it's 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 y you want the human experiments because you want the you don't want the limitations and blah 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 and science and blah 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 blah. Basically, just be a hard ass and do everything bad. Because then you get to learn more for science. I mean, all right, all right, I get it. But I can't help but feel like I'm probably doing something incredibly wrong. <laughs> I mean, of course, minus stealing everything that's in here, but it's it's mine now. I mean, this is my vault now, even though she's still technically the overseer. Oh, I don't want those burnt books. Whoops. Wake master alarm clock. Hail to the... You, you had a comfy pillow? Girl, you were living in the lap of luxury. Look at this. People in the Commonwealth don't even have beds half this good. You get out of here. I, I can store things in here. Did I actually, like, she said I turned on the recruitment beacon. I don't, did I really? Like, I don't recall making, a, um, I don't recall making a radio bacon. Like, when did that happen? I mean, can I, can I go to power, uh, miscellaneous? But one of these things now, microscope removed. I just it just scrapped the microscope that I had. That's awesome. Uh, generator small. Like I don't I don't recall doing this. See, look, there's two different ones. Volt radio radio beacon signal lost and then found. All right. Now is this just like a settlement that is completely self-contained? That over time, it's just going to get people, and these people that it's going to get are okay with. Whatever twisted experimentation's about to go down is like, is this, is that what's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, Julian. I just, I just, I got rid of you. And before I broke a quest somewhere. But, uh, is how, for some reason, why do I keep thinking this is like a DLC? Is this, was this a DLC? I don't think so. I don't know, it just feels, it just seems like there's a lot to this thing. Now, she's also telling me to, to scrap stuff, rock slide. And experiment, or experiment, explore other portions of the vault. Okay, I can't scrap that one. So I'm going to look for things that appear... I think explore the north sector was one of them. Northeast sector. Maybe I can... It's kind of funny. Like, there's all this debris. Little old me just comes up here and, like... Yeah. Flexes. Mm, strung back. Like, <laughs> I, I just come here and clean up shit like it's nothing. But she's down here 200 years and has trouble doing anything. It's kind of weird. Atrium floor. I wonder if, it, wonder if I'll have access to that stuff. All right, I need to go to the workshop. Or I guess maybe one of the better things to do. You remember, I still have one people here. One person. I got to remember that that's, the, uh, that's her. Like, that's not because we have a new person. I'll just put down a cooking stove. That's fine. Restored desk fan remove. I love how it's actually saying it's removing things. Like, this, this is stuff that's here. And, I don't know, like I just picked up junk 
And I, I guess I like seeing the junk that I've acquired be utilized, you know? So I don't know, so, something about seeing the junk that I've picked up in, in this place be used to create things. <laughs> Instead of just pulling stuff out of a workshop that I, don't, I forgot when I last looted that item or I don't know just I guess it's, it's like humbling it's like hey look at that I just looted that thing and now I get to use it feels awesome man let's make it means my my uh my looting was worth all this stuff <laughs> I can make the sign here just have a safety sign is that all of the rock slides Voltec super reactor core yeah you pick it up and the radiation disappears uh, so I got two entrances freed up. And let, me, let me get rid of the rest of the ghouls that are here. I think there's yeah, like this dude. Yeah, sorry, you don't need to be here anymore. Can I get rid of? I can get rid of the trains. I mean, I'm probably not supposed to go back there. All right, let me check the other tunnel. I'm just seeing like where all I can and can't go. Yeah, I can't. I can't do anything with that debris. And what about? Uh, uh. Let me, let me through here. What about over here? Just more trains? Like, yeah, just, I, don't, I, don't, I, I guess maybe those two areas were the areas that I'm supposed to go to. I think there was three areas, but we'll see. Uh, apparently there's a lot to explore, but any other debris? I'm just interested in cleaning up this place a little bit, I guess. I'm also very hesitant to scrap everything. I'm wondering if I'm going to break something quest-related. Like, that's the last thing I want to do. Floor and supports. That just looks like a hell of a mess. Alright, well, before I get too scrap happy, I guess I store any and all junk I have in here. Because this is a settlement. I still don't know if I made the right call. Like, I don't know what significance this place has with anything. <laughs> I'm a little worried. 308, 38, 44. That's a lot of 45. And one day what I can get a uh, recruitment beacon here. Or not a recruitment beacon. A, um... A provisioner will have access to all this stuff, I would wager, even though it's an instance area. I'm assuming you'd still have access to it. Yeah, I don't want this. Uh, I still want to take that to, like, Grey Garden or something. Oh, my purified water. I gotta put that away. Jeez. That is way too much. Gumdrops, cram, buff out, bubble gum. Sure. Alright, whatever. 243. That's good enough. Consworth should be relatively empty. I'll have to check his inventory. If, if Mr. Hermit Crab here ever TP's to me. What? What? No, I did Somebody must have arrived. I hear Cons Consworth is talking. Okay, no, there's nobody new, but sh it just said help her interview the people. I didn't explore the vault. I didn't go over here. I'm gonna go this way first. wonder if there's gonna be more ghouls as we progress. Wonder like how deep the construction crew got before they got you know <laughs> before before the bombs went kapew pew. Says I'm detected here. Hello. Well, I see dead people. I, I see dead people. Well, more rats make sense. I see dead people. Ooh, legendary. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, look, a legendary. Well, it just proceeds to blow its head off. Damn it! I think I've got, like, three of these things. Critical shots do double damage, and the critical meter feels 15% faster. A lucky lever action. Oh, I'm sorry about that, mole rats. Sadly, I can't go into the crafting interface and scrap their corpses from here. I'd have to, uh... I have to, like, bring them back to... Yeah, bring them all the way back over there. What the hell? Is there, like, a window back there? Looks like it. I have to bring them all the way back to the settlement, which we're obviously not doing. Uh, there's, there's some things in here that we might as well take, considering this is not a linked up settlement. Meaning, all the junk that I can get and bring back and put in that settlement uh, is kind of really welcome at this point, because if I have to build anything, I'm essentially building it out of my own inventory. And it's a damn miracle I was able to build the things I was able to build, to be honest with you. Just goes to show. Hoarding, man. Hoarding is the way to go. <laughs> I love having this stuff. Look at this perfectly square. Perfectly square building piece. Jeez. That's some craftsmanship there, man. Alright, well, let's press onward. Seems like mole rats are gonna be a common enemy. And there's some some radiation, some glowing fungus or something here. Look at that. Like it's actually emitting rads. Is there a gas leak? No, I thought I saw gas. 
Is this gonna become like a different instance or something? That'd be that'd be cool. There's definitely something that's detecting me ever so faintly. I'm I'm just guessing more more, more mole rats. Yeah, another one. It's a low level. So low level, but it's a legendary nonetheless. Doesn't matter what the level of a legendary is. Look. I think you were supposed to have spawned. <laughs> you can see its hand to the floor. Why didn't it trigger? Resolute. What's resolute? Time slows down for a moment when chambering. The, every round could be the final round and, and a thing like that. Yeah, like if you had a single shot rifle. I don't think I've ever seen resolute as a prefix before. And dude, you could actually use this place to farm up legendaries. Save before you kill these two. Run through kill. See if you get what you want. If you don't load, I could farm chameleon armor pieces in a scripted place like this. I never really thought about that, but you could totes do it. However, guys, it's actually time to wrap it up here. Episode 679. Uh, I still don't know if I made the right call, but uh, we're going to keep playing. I'm going to see how this pans out. I mean, I don't know what happens if you just say, no, go away. Like, do you just kill her? And then it's just a settlement? I'm not sure if what I'm doing is right. It's probably not. But either way, I'm having fun. So, <laughs> thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.